Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, so last time we modeled this uh, handle, this handle for a window. Um, so this time, let's have a look. Uh, ventilator. Um, I don't think we should model this because I think they are quite small. And when they are small, and when you uh, create all, a lot of these uh, voids. And then eventually it will become a, a just a block of ink. It, it will, yeah. So it's you maybe just model a like a, a rectangular shape or yeah. I think that's that's it. Um, yeah, yeah. I suggest I suggest uh, you do not model them in your family. Um, okay. So this one. Heritage. Okay. This. Okay. Um, what do I use? Curtain panel. Uh, to be honest, I do not uh, think we should model all these um, like blocks. Um, I would probably just use a pattern because. Um, it can be very heavy if if you model all these blocks in uh so and you can see all these curves um yeah i don't i don't think we should model them and also curtain oh hell curtain use curtain panel um when you use curtain panels i think uh maybe you mean curtain walls and then with curtain walls and wall behind, it will become very heavy. Uh, can be very pro problematic. So I suggest do not model them. Um, I was thinking to use adaptive family. Uh, what's this for? Ah, for these. Yep. So this is um, okay. If you use a pattern, so it will automatically apply. So you might need to adjust or you know uh, try to uh, create a maybe cr you need to create a, a a fill pattern that match this one. So you can use uh, some tool like a P P Y Revit to create a pattern. So, um, but if you model these blocks, it can be quite. Uh, uh, hard to you know to match all these this arc um, adaptive family yes we can uh, we can use adaptive family um, and okay so the problems comes when I try to cut the edge with void okay so um, I think I'm going to talk about this we don't need void in some situation. Uh, since something like 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 this one, we don't need void. We can just use solid. Okay, so uh, um, I'm going to talk about this. Okay, but still, uh, I don't I do not recommend model model this box. But uh, I'll show you how to. How to create this uh, without using void? So let's create a new adaptive family, generic model adap adaptive. So because we need um, to create this, um, okay, it looks like one, two, three, four with a point. Uh, with a dimension to offset from point two and another. Um, Dimension offset from three. Um, nah, just make it. Just make this one adaptive point, and then I think that's because this 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 line looks like uh, it, it's a spline, it's not an arc. So it could be an arc. So um, we can probably make this an arc, but it can be quite. It will be very, <laughs> very, very um, complicated. So. Maybe just spline. It's much easier. So for this one, I'm going to just instead of you know, instead of one, two, three, four, 
I'm going to use five points. So first three define this spline four five and that's it. Okay, so select them, make adaptive. Uh, actually, let me just move them closer to each other. So relative, so relatively closer to each other. So uh, still five meter. <laughs> Because those blocks are, you know, quite small, not five meter, so five hundred should be right. Okay, so this is it. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three will be a arc, right? Oh, not arc. Sorry, spline. Three, four. Oh, sorry. Control Z. So when you create, uh, do not select that one. If I, if you select this way, you will also select this. And the rabbit will automatically continue this to 0.4. So we don't want that. So only select three and four, only select four and five, only select one and five. So now we have this shape and make them reference line. And then we need to place a point, place onto this this any anywhere on this. Oh, sorry wrong one so you can see uh, it's a big point no we need a small one okay so use draw on face and place onto this reference line and then we can create a profile so for this profile we need a point draw on web plan set web plan tab pick and place and click ok click this point okay so let's just uh, with, uh, drag it down and then we can rotate this one by 180 degrees so it goes up so this will be the height it will be a thickness of that that uh, block so let's just give it maybe just call it a th thickness okay so type okay that's it and then we need we also need uh, because we're going to have a uh, an curve like like this so we need offset from this point uh, again a draw on web plan set web plan pick and place so click OK select this point drag it to here so now we can create another parameter for this I'll just use offset uh, for this okay so now we have this point and this point so how can we create an arc like like this so if we directly create a, uh, uh, connect these two it become a straight line so we need another point here or we can have another two points next to these two okay so let's control Z so one first point is draw on word plan and tab and pick and place and click OK. We just need to move this one up by one, one millimeter. And another point is here on this point next to this one. So tab, tab, and pick this word plan and place onto this point and select it. So you can see this one's uh, and the positive is on this side so we just need a negative so negative one so now we can select all these four points so I'll select these four so you can see we have four points okay four and then we can create a spline so this is it and then we just need to close this shape right so um, we just need to zoom in so that um, we need a oh hell uh, let me think we need maybe just offset a point from this point. Point, draw on web plan, set web plan, tab, tab, click, and place, and OK. And select this point, uh, select this point, and we can just use the offset so it will go under this point. Right, so now we can select them, create a spline, connect. Uh, and reference line make it reference line once again one two two points and reference line now we have a closed profile so select this profile and select this path and we can create something like this 
And once again, we can tab select this edge and tab control select and tab control select and tab control select. So we can create a, a solid shape. All right. And then we can just link that H to it and oh, sorry, TH thickness to it. So now we have this. Um, yeah, I think uh, we can try join geom geometry. But yeah, it doesn't make any uh, change. So I think this is it. This is the shape. Although this is not a perfect arc, it's a spline, but it, it should be good enough. OK, so now let's have a test. So uh, I'm going to uh, let, let's have a look. OK, that's an arc. Yeah. So let's have a test. I'm going to create a new project. And in this project, I'm going to create a wall, WA. Let's go to 3D view, select it. So I'm going to just try see if there's a block. OK, let's try block veneer. OK, so these are blocks, uh, maybe roughly 200 uh, by 400 maybe. But um, we. I'm going to just duplicate this wall and also duplicate this uh, block material. So I just duplicate. And also I want to duplicate this fill patterns because sometimes you might want a different pattern. So this is 225, 450. Let's duplicate. I'll just uh, just skip the name. I'll just give it two. So just to double the size. So click OK, 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 OK. So now we have a bigger one, right? So big size. So now we can go back to here, this family, load it into this project. So now we can directly play on face. Okay, so imagine, oh, actually, uh, let me just try. So maybe I'll just use wall, oh, we can't do wall opening. Wall opening will be a rectangular shape. So we, we need to use um, edit profile. So I just do an arc, something like this, okay? And then just uh, go down. Oops, sorry. Go down and split trim S split SL trim TR finish. So now we have something like this. Um, and okay, so maybe uh, I'll just move this tab. And I'll just use my keyboard to move this. Okay, so now we have so have this. Let's uh, try to uh, fill fill uh, place that family here. So component. Um, actually, I'm not quite sure about uh, the. Oh, hang on. I think something's not right. It need to be placed onto because when I try to place here, it will snap onto. Maybe the surface underneath, maybe. So let's try to use place on word plan. And so I can pick a word plan I want to play, right? So it will always be this word plan. So it doesn't matter where, which, yeah, so that's better. So now let's try one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think, oh, hell. Oh, go to the other side. Um, yeah, I think it should be fine. We can just flip it and then this is it. Okay, so yep, I think that's it. So um, we don't need void. Uh, we can just use a solid, but just two solid um, and join them together. So and also you can see this line here. Um, let me just change it to shade SD. Although yeah, so it's it's for, it's it's quite nice. The, the geometry is quite nice. So you can see when I try to when when I rotate it, um, it's quite smooth, almost. Um, yeah, it's quite smooth, but you can you will always see this line. If you don't want to see them, you can manually hide use uh, hide them. So that's one option. So you can see you can hide hide them, okay, and also you can you know go to or you just go to graph uh, graph uh, sorry graphic uh, display option, uncheck the show edge, but this will just hide all the edge. So 
it's more like a, a, a um, render so yeah and but once you change to other view uh, other settings like hidden line so you will see them unless you just manually hide them but I think um, it looks fine so maybe just uh, we need to bring those line lines back by category and this is it so it, you can you can even place it onto um, rectangular just try to match this yeah oops go to the other side again oh looks like we have some issue um, I think so you can just have a play with the setting so I guess there's uh, some setting here orient to um, not not to be honest I'm not sure you just always have a try oh, it doesn't work um, try, let me try again one two three four five okay this time it works but need to flip anyway so this is it um, yeah just um, like I said I do not recommend model then but if you have to um, this is how you model it without any void okay um, I'll just quickly go have a look um, so I don't think I yeah this is too hard <laughs> um, actually um, um, this book Paul uh, I'll just quickly here yeah. let me let me just uh, Paul F okay if you search this so this book um, this book so this is the one um, yeah so this is the one that uh, sh show show will show you so this book will show you how to model this in a, it's a parametric so actually that's uh, that's that's the that's the one I, I first I start to learn uh, mass so it's quite good um, I think that's it okay so we we will have a look at this one next time and okay so that's that's it for today if you have any questions please let me know um, I'll see you next time thank you